it's been known for quite some time what one of the main targets is in a prophylactic vaccine against CMV, and that's called the GB antigen. It's an antigen found on the surface of the virus, and it's very well recognized by the immune system. In 2009, there was a phase two clinical trial led by Bob Pass that was completed and it really galvanized the field because it demonstrated a projected efficacy of 50%. And we certainly want to improve upon that, but it was a fantastic start and it showed that just that GB antigen could induce protective immunity. There were two problems with that vaccine candidate and this GB antigen. First, it wasn't sufficiently potent in multiple different cell types that could be infected by the virus. And second, the immune response didn't last for a very long period of time, and so protection waned very quickly. In designing our EVLP candidate, those were the two critical features that we wanted to address. So in preclinical uh, proof of concept studies, we evaluated both a traditional subunit version of the vaccine, which utilized just that GB antigen. We compared it to that antigen when presented in our EVLP, and we modified that GB antigen in the context of our EVLP to see if we could further improve it by getting a better presentation to the immune system. What we discovered was that, in fact, there was clear benefit to presenting the antigen in the EVLPs, but furthermore, when we modified it at VBI, you got a further five-fold improvement in the potency. So we created a better version of the antigen and got the kind of uh, immune responses that we wanted against the major cell types that CMV infects. To ensure that we would get longer lasting immunity, we added a stabilizer called alum, which has been used in tens of millions of vaccine doses over the past few decades. We found that we were able to get a very rapid onset of immunity and a very durable, long-lasting immune response. In our preclinical studies of our VBI 1501A candidate, we wanted to ensure that we weren't going to be fooled into thinking we had something we didn't. And it's always helpful to have a benchmark which you can use to guide your development and give you a good sense of whether or not we have sufficient potency. Fortunately, naturally acquired immunity is associated with a protection rate of about 90%. And so that's what we've been striving for with our vaccine candidate. And we now know with our candidate that we either meet or exceed by, in some cases, 30-fold naturally acquired levels of immunity. And so that represents our uh, candidate VBI 1501A. It's this modified GB presented by the EVLPs, absorbed or formulated with alum to ensure very good, long-lasting protective immunity.